Hello and welcome to Activate Online's news update program, Think Blue. My name is Mochemo Sinkala. And I am Sia Masi. The past two weeks at Rhodes University have been very stressful and emotional. The RU reference list highlighted the prevailing issue of rape culture and has promoted a move towards national consciousness. We as the Activate team stand in solidarity with the movement and would like to extend not only our support but also our gratitude and appreciation to everyone who participated in the protests. Members of the Rhodes University student body are outraged after a failed attempt at a vote of no confidence in the Student Representative Council. On Wednesday the 4th of May, members of the student body assembled at Eden Grove Red to express a growing dissatisfaction with the behavior and performance of some SRC members. The voting could not take place as the correct process had not been followed. After attending a Zion Church pilgrimage in Moleji, Limpopo, seven students from Vitz University lost their lives on Sunday night. The students had an accident on the N1 South Mokopani on the way to Johannesburg when the taxi they were traveling in collided with a trailer that remained on the road after a track had broken down earlier. The driver died in the accident and six other students were injured. Also in Limpopo, 13 schools were set alight this week when residents took matters into their own hands after a bid to have their area remain under the Makado municipality was denied by the High Court. The angry protesters took to the streets of Vuwani in Limpopo after the locals became aware of the government's plan to include them under the Malumelele municipality. In international news, Uganda's government is banning media coverage of a protest movement against the disputed re-election of the country's longtime president, Yoweri Museveni. President Museveni has been in power for over two decades. On Sunday, May 1st, upon attempting to commemorate International Workers' Day, some 650 workers were prevented from holding a meeting in Cairo by armed police forces. Police arrested dozens of people and used tear gas to break up the protests. This was the first significant street demonstration since President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi came to power in 2014. Tuesday the 3rd of May was World Press Freedom Day, proclaimed by the United Nations General Assembly in December 1993. The day celebrates and assesses the contribution of free press around the world. This year's theme is access to information and fundamental freedoms. This is your right. Freedom of press empowers and liberates people. That's all the news we have this week. Thank you for joining us. My name is Mochimo Sinkala. And I'm Sia Mausi. And we hope you join us next time for more news updates. And remember, think Activate, think, think Blue. blue.